Hello, I'm Ian Robinson of the Kohu Semiconductor Test Group. In this quick tip, we will show you how to select the main flow during program load. We think you will find this very useful reducing the work to enable multiple uses of a single test program. Some of you may already be using the program configuration feature of the flow tool to select adapter board objects when you load a program. You might also want to select a different main flow to execute a different sequence of tests for other activities like final test, QA, or temperature. We are going to start with the SN74HC193 program, which is available in the Unison operating system, located in slash LTX slash customer slash test underscore programs directory. This program already contains a function call object to select an adapter board based on the test system in use. We will modify this code to include a main flow selection in addition to the selection of the adapter board. First, Let's make a copy of the SN74HC193 program to your local user directory. To do this, we navigate in a terminal to the slash LTX slash customer slash test underscore programs directory and type CP space minus R SN74HC193 tilde slash followed by a dot. This will place the entire program directory in the top level of your user directory. OK, with the program copied over, let's load it using the operator tool and take a quick look at it. By the way, don't forget to open the read-write privileges on the directory and files. Navigate to the SN74HC193 slash program directory in your user account and type launcher minus F in a terminal. We're going to use a Diamond X simulator, so I'll select that in the launcher pop-up and click launch. With the SN74HC193 loaded, open the flow tool and look at the program configuration in the edit menu. We can see it is selecting the active adapter board selection. In the test tool, we can look at the function call object used to call the choose active adapter board UTL function. Let's open the UTL function and briefly look at the code. Double click on the gear icon to open the CPP file in the editor. We're going to modify this routine using an array of string s to pass in the names of the different main flow objects. We don't want to break the existing code, so we will insert this before the adapter board selection code. To do this, we will need to add a new array of string s to the end of the function definition. To select between main flow objects, we first make a clone of the existing main flow. We're going to call it QA underscore main flow. In the flow tool file menu, select clone in the flow section located at the top menu bar. Next, type a new name in the place of the automatically generated flow object name next to flow and hit the enter key. Notice a new instance of on start is also created as is the case with all the subflows that were cloned as part of the flow object. Now we have two main flows to choose from, we can modify the function to select one of these. We're going to add the array of string s to enable the user to enter the main flow names in the function call. The routine gives the user five attempts to enter one of the two possible valid flow names. After the input value is checked, everything is bypassed if the entry is not less than three. If it is less than three, the size of the array of string s is used to index through the values. After we get to the value of the main flow, the code will jump out of the loop. If no valid object is found, a default object is assigned to the active flow set in the program during development. With the code changes complete, let's build and make sure the code compiles properly. Note that reading an input using standard in requires the use of io.scan because standard in is a file descriptor. io.scan reads the file descriptor with a format of a signed decimal integer into the variable in. Also notice that the program takes the content of the array of string s at the chosen location and assigns this to the my main flow variable using the flow colon colon find open parenthesis string close parenthesis member function. If the operator does not enter a valid number before exceeding the number of allowed attempts, the program will assign the active flow as the main flow. 
Next, we are going to update the function call object that assigns the flow objects. Open the test tool from the operator tool. Open the function call object. Now we will enter the literal string of the two flows, main flow and QA underscore main flow. Let's save the changes, unload and reload the program to confirm that it works. As you can see, the use of the program configuration feature provides some useful ways to modify the program at load time. If you need more help, call your local Kohu support office with any questions about using this great Unison feature.